So do you like Star Wars and transitions together? Well, that's good because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make five of the most common transitions used in Star Wars in DaVinci Resolve in under three minutes. All that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Rupka, and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about effects, transitions, and features, and, and all that other fun stuff. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. So now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the infamous wipe transition that goes from left to right or from right to left. So we have our two clips right here. We have the spaceship, and then we have outer space. So to make this transition is super easy. So I'm gonna to go to the effects library right here and I wanna just narrow down to video transitions. So I'm gonna click on this little tab right here, click on video transitions, and now that's all I see. So now we're gonna scroll down to where we see the slide transition right here and we're gonna drag it over here. And you see that I can't actually place it on the middle. That's because we're either at the beginning or the end of a clip. So if I go to the end of this clip and I just ripple delete and then try it again, it'll work. So now we want to grab these parts on the end and extend it to about 10 frames. So now put your playhead in the middle of the transition and in the inspector tab, go to border and bring it up like this. Then click feather. So now we have this feathered wipe transition. You can also reverse this by going to the preset and go from slide right to left and it'll just slide that way. So moving on to the second one, we have the barn door transition. So once again, in the video transition tab, we're going to go down to shapes and then you see barn door and we're going to do the exact same thing bring it over, zoom in, extend it to 10 frames, up the border like this, and hit feather. So now we have the barn door effect. You can also add curves under ease, so you can ease it in, or go to ease out, or ease in and out, but in the movies, what they do is it's just straight linear. It means that there's no curve in the keyframes. So it's just a straight line. It's gonna go from point A to point B all at the same speed. So now we're onto our third transition, the oval transition. This one happens a lot with like motion. So for example, you can see right here, I have a clip of hyperspace. This would make for a perfect oval transition and have you be pulled into the next clip. So under video transitions, we're gonna grab the oval iris and I'm gonna place it in the center of both those clips, extend it to 10 frames. You guys know the deal. Move to the center of the clip, up the border, feather it, and now there's the oval transition. So now to our fourth transition, we have the clock wipe transition. So like all the transitions before this, we're gonna go down in the video transitions and we're gonna go to clock wipe, place it in the middle, extend it up the border, feather it, and you can make it either clockwise or counterclockwise. So there's the clock wipe transition. Guys, these things are like super easy. And the fifth and final transition I'm gonna show you is the edge wipe. This is the transition that goes from bottom to top or top to bottom. And of course, this is one of the most common transitions that happens in Star Wars. So under video transitions, grab the edge wipe under wipes, drag it in the middle, extend it to 10 frames, put your playhead in the center, up the border, and then feather it. So now this one goes from bottom to top. And the cool thing right here is if we go over to the angle, we can actually make it come from any other way. So you can move the angle to 30 degrees and have it transition from the side. And then also 180 degrees will make it transition from top to bottom like this. So there you have it, five simple Star Wars transitions in DaVinci Resolve. So if you thought this video was helpful, hit the like button. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me, hit that bell notification. It helps out so much, you have no idea. What other types of transitions or effects do you wanna see me make in DaVinci Resolve? It could be from movies, TV shows, or just things that you saw online. Let me know in the comments below, and if a certain comment that has an effect in it gets a ton of upvotes, I'm totally gonna to make that and feature that comment. Also, Happy New Year. 2020 is gonna be legit. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do big things on this channel, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, the video on the top is a video all about the eye zoom transition in DaVinci Resolve. It's really sick. It takes a person's eye and just zooms right into another clip. It's awesome. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.